Barbara Hammer is considered a pioneer of queer cinema, exploring themes of lesbian identity, sexuality and feminism. I was experiencing the world in a different way. Touching a woman, making love with a woman, had to be shown on screen. Born in Hollywood in 1939, she was inspired to make experimental films about her personal life after seeing Maya Deren's Meshes of the Afternoon, while studying film at San Francisco State University. My professor really saw that I like movement more than paint on canvas. Her early work, produced between 1968 and 1973, consisted of a series of silent shorts filmed on Super 8. 1974's Dyke Tactics, a short film about lesbian couples and one of Hammer's first to incorporate sound, is considered the first lesbian movie made by a lesbian filmmaker. When I started 16mm film, I was coming out. While the 1986 release, Snow Job, The Media Hysteria of AIDS, shone a spotlight on the misinformation and ignorance that prevailed as the epidemic spread through the developed world. From no news coverage to the most covered news story in history, her first feature-length movie, The Experimental Nitrate Kisses, released in 1992, explores the lost history of gay culture. The highly acclaimed film screened at Sundance and went on to win the Polar Bear Award in 1993. In 2006, Hammer won the first Shirley Clark Avant-Garde Filmmaker Award from New York Women in Film and Television. She won her first Teddy at the 2009 Berlinale with A Horse Is Not A Metaphor, chronicling her treatment for cancer. H-A-M-M-E-R. Further Teddy Awards followed for Generations and Maya Darren Sink. Her autobiography, Hammer, Making Movies Out of Sex and Life, was published in 2010. The short novella that I had written was the beginning. A month-long retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art in New York in 2010 was toured around the world in 2012. When I was very young, I don't think I ever saw any lesbians in film or popular culture. Leading her to becoming a fellow of the Guggenheim the following year. Evidentiary Bodies brought her intimate and poignant performance work to wider audiences with its world premiere at the Berlin International Film Festival in 2018. So I wanted people to experience what it was like to go into a hospital. In October 2018, Hammer delivered a lecture at the Whitney Museum in New York about her life and impending death, attended by her partner of 30 years, Flory Burke. I'm living with cancer and I have been for 12 years. On 15th March 2019, Barbara Hammer died. She had previously spoken publicly about her own journey towards death and was a vocal advocate for terminally ill people to be given end-of-life choices. To choose my death at a certain time. Hammer's distinctly personal perspective of lesbian life through film and media will continue to inform and inspire, even as the birth of the LGBT and women's rights movements fade into history.